again. Now this is the last one of the initial run of the six million dollar man Steve Austin figures. As you've seen in the previous videos, the two versions of the 1975, the non-removable left arm in the revised version of the dual left arm at arms that come off 75. Then the subsequent bionic grip. And now I'm getting to the last one. But first, the one figure that I cannot describe or show to you because I don't own it myself is the Lily Lily made in Mexico version of the $6 million man figure. It's really different. It looks nothing like the Kenner produced toy for the Americans and the UK, which is called a different product altogether, Denise Fisher. And it's those are the same as the American one. There's really there's no difference whatsoever. They're exactly the same figure to a T. Only the one in Mexico is totally different. Yeah, that is, that's total five. If you have the one from Mexico, the Lily. Okay, but I don't own it. I'd love to own it, but it's very expensive and it's very breakable, real easy. They weren't made of the best plastic. Okay, now let's get to the very last version. Now, by 1978, unfortunately, the $6 million man's ratings were dropping like a rock. And, you know, to be honest, the writing was on the wall. Literally, the writing on the series was not really good. They were rehashing a lot of stuff from the previous seasons. That was their way of trying to keep kids, like myself, watching the show. We were watching it no matter what, but the ratings weren't good enough to keep going past the last season in 1978. Now, unfortunately, because of that, I believe the toys suffered somewhat because we'd moved on. Us kids of the 70s, there was a little movie that came out in 1977 by a fairly unknown director named George Lucas and his production of Star Wars A New Hope, well, that changed the whole ballgame. We moved on from the $6 million man and went straight to Star Wars and we didn't look back. Okay, let's get to him, shall we? Well, here he is. Woohoo! Yes, boys and girls, this is Biosonic. Biosonic was the last of the $6 million man figures. His patch is up there in this crazy looking shirt. Of the last of the $6 million man figures. When he was produced in 1978, for some other reason, there was a karate craze going on that, well, yeah, Bruce Lee and whatnot. So everyone had to have like some form of a karate motion or whatever like that. Kind of strange, but you know, it is what it is. But getting back to him, they totally changed a lot of aspects of the figure. I mean, radically. The biggest one, of course, is his pants. Look at the streamline here. It's red all the way through. I made an honest mistake of suggesting to somebody they could replace the these pants with the OSI undercover outfit from 1976 because they made three separate outfits and I thought the pants were close enough but then I found out well I was wrong <laughs> it's totally different material this is like jean jeans Levi corduroys I mean it's just impeccable the shoes are slightly different but not by a, and not by a dramatic difference They're, the plastic is a little um, different not by much same socks as the, all the other issues of course and um, they did away with the steel beam color of the bionic grip figure and replaced it with an all flesh color, but it still is the bionic grip arm. The only big difference, sorry, wrong arm, um, this one here, the only big difference is his arm goes all the way out very differently. The bionic grip hand is still the same. When you engage it by pushing the yellow button, which is still there, is There you go, it clicks. I don't want to play with it too much. It's 1978. Okay, still the same, but there's nothing on it covering it, and it still says do not remove. Always remember to look for that do not remove sticker on Bionic Grip figures and of course Biosonic. Dead giveaway of a Biosonic if you see one. This is a good example right here. There's no steel, it's a flesh colored arm the whole way through. Okay. Now, they did make one bionic chip and one bionic chip only. And here is the bat. Here it is, right here, up here on the shoulder. But what they did was they 
didn't make it very elaborate. All they did was put a decal on it. There's a decal inside of the arm, and then there's a decal on the outside of the arm. I'm not going to check it out because you, I'll, I'll put some photos on my Facebook page that I'm a monitor of if you want to look at it. It's not too hard to see it. Okay, and um, now the other arm is not removable. I don't know who says that this arm comes off. I'm not taking it off. But the arm motion from the left dictates the right. So if you go up with the arm, and hold on to him, it makes the other arm go up. You know, well, it's not supposed to go like because it's basically a karate chop push. It'll go up and down. Well, you know, you get the idea. Okay. Well, now um, that's it for this video. The second one, I will describe the other items, his accessories. Okay. So, Biosonic 1978 six million dollar man, the hardest, scarcest, rarest of all of the six million dollar man figures. This is almost impossible to find in a cherry immaculate condition. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.